everything is okay and just give some style for the hash container and class btn I think for hash btn1 after hovering over box shadow zero pixel uh, from right 10 pixel at zero pixel and fade is almost eight pixel uh, or no last fade 20 pixel the color is 10 pixel color black so you can see it is very deep inspect and select this element light box shadow code box shadow so 10 pixel zero pixel and uh, 20 pixel black and this one is for size 5 pixel keep size small or 0 so 10 pixel, 0 pixel, 20 pixel and black 10 pixel, 0 pixel, 20 pixel and 0 pixel and black copy this one give it negative 10 pixel save and save ok problem we need to change this between two save and refresh fine so everything is done in style now come index and call some functions before calling just use write script code script and write your variable var index equal to zero and write a function function show image show image and write var x equals to document dot get elements document dot get elements by class name my la get element by get elements by class name write the name of the class class name is slides So after getting this, just uh, alert x dot length. So you will get all the classes, uh, all the uh, image tag which has classes slides. It will just count uh, because of length properties will count and alert it. So save this and call the function show image. So you can see five images we have just drag one as an argument and save n here declare a variable i 
for the looping and uh, for loop i equals to zero i less than x dot length so length and i plus plus because of uh, i am selecting each of each of class has slide dot style dot display equals to none so all of them will disappear because of this so you can see all of them disappear now if n uh, means 1 greater than x dot length x dot length if n is greater than x dot length uh, means I mean if it is more than 5 we have 5 images if it is more than 5 then we just set uh, we just set index for each image equals to uh, 1 because it is uh, last so we will move to first one copy this and if n is less than 1 if someone moving back and uh, moving back means decreasing uh, 1 for each image so it will be negative so if it is negative so we just need to change it to x dot length means last after for loop x uh, index is simply instead of 0 write it 1 index minus 1 dot style dot display equals to block so what will happen show uh, we are calling show image with 1 and if it is 1 and n will receive 1 1 greater than 5 no 1 less than 1 no loop will run and all the images will disappear and finally index is 1 1 minus 1 0 so the very first image will be blocked and rest of them will be displayed simply none so save it and the first image is our this Taj Mahal you can see in the code yeah so, uh, so our all the code is turned here in the javascript just we need to plus we need to do plus and minus so on click on click equals to plus index plus index sorry uh, this one is for the previous image so it is it will be minus one copy and paste it here and it will be plus one for the next image so, and here is a function we need to execute this function function plus index and it will be plus index will be i n whatever simply index equals to index whatever the index just plus one and call the show image function show image copy and paste it here with an argument index So simply when someone click on this uh, plus index one 
then this function will call and it will receive one uh, index is now one so one plus one becomes two and show image will call with an index two and this show image will receive n equals to two this two is never greater than this uh, initially never greater than this x dot length and never less than this one so simply for loop will execute and all the images will disappear and after that whatever the index if, if it is 2 then 2 minus 1 1 so first image uh, it, it index is starting from 0 so the second image will be display block and similarly if you click once more again again it is calling just click okay it is working and click here what is it going previous back So guys, if you like this, uh, don't forget to um, uh, like and subscribe. In the next part, we will uh, we will work on auto slide. So in the in our previous uh, in, in in our example, I have shown you the auto auto moving. So we will create one more function uh, for uh, in the same uh, image in the same slide slideshow, and in that in that time, it will move. Uh, it will execute automatically 